to start, it'd be really nice to kind of just hear an introduction from yourself and maybe an overview of your, of your career. Because obviously from LinkedIn, I think anyone landing on your profile will see your experience is incredible. And being a startup advisor and working in that sort of environment was really, really interesting to me. So yeah, I'd love to, I'd love to hear about your career from your, in your own words. Yeah, of course. So, you know, I'm a marketer. I've been doing this for more than 15 years and I had the opportunity to work for amazing companies like Microsoft and Google, but I also worked for really small kind of up and coming startups and um, I love both. And I actually, I didn't start my career in marketing. I was a travel agent for a while just because I needed a job to pay, you know, my way through college. And I kind of got stuck for almost seven years because no one told me I can actually design my own career path. I can make choices. You know, I just had a job. So I woke up every morning and went to work and I was doing well. I was growing. I, you know, became a manager. It all seemed really great, except I wasn't really excited or fulfilled. And when I was doing my bachelor's, I kind of fell in love with marketing and I started asking myself, you know, how can I turn this into a profession? And this was a while back, so there weren't that many opportunities. It was just around the time that Facebook and Twitter kind of emerged and I got really excited about social media and I spent a lot of time learning about it, reading about it. And I decided, okay, this is what I want to do. I want to get into social media. And initially I tried with a company I worked with, with a travel agency. I told them, hey, can I just run your social media accounts, you know, in addition to my full-time job? And I did that for almost six months and it was great. I learned a lot, but the company wasn't ready to actually invest in that and turn that into a full-time role. So I realized I have to find, you know, a, a different place to work. And I went from a, an international company with 400 people where I was a manager to kind of a startup, an agency with five people. We didn't have an office. I actually worked from the founder's home for the first year. Wow. But I was so happy because I got to do what, you know, got me excited. And I learned everything there is to know about social media. And I learned a lot about PR and communications and storytelling. And I ended up staying with that company for four and a half years. I, you know, reported to the CEO and I had 25 people working for me at the, you know, at the end of that period, which was an incredible learning experience. But it also showed me that there was so much more to marketing than just social media. And I got really curious and, you know, I was doing my MBA at the time and I heard about this company. We had a case study. And they, the company was called SodaStream, and they did this really exciting rebrand. So they took a company who's been around for almost 100 years that was really old and like no one really cared about, and they turned that into this sexy, exciting product that everyone wanted to buy. And I decided, you know, I want to work for the people who made that happen. So I stalked them for a little bit <laughs> until I found, you know, an opening and it was for digital marketing. And I wasn't a digital marketing expert per se, but I did spend a lot of time learning, you know, marketing beyond just the communications and the social media. So I guess I was knowledgeable enough to, to impress them and took on a job to lead digital marketing and basically take a company who was only selling in store to starting to think about selling online, building a brand online and really going, you know, digital. And that was a really incredible experience. I got to try anything you can think of. Like I had, you know, a huge budget to do online advertising. I built an e-commerce website from scratch and actually started driving business results. I did a Super Bowl ad with Scarlett Johansson. Wow. I didn't get to meet her, unfortunately, but I was definitely, you know, part of that project. And it was incredibly exciting. I, like, seriously, I had almost like a blank slate. The team trusted me so much that I could experiment and try and do different things. But after about two years, I realized as much as I, you know, enjoyed the marketing aspect of it, I wasn't in love with the industry. When I worked for the agency, I worked mostly with startups and tech companies. And now I was suddenly into consumer packaged goods, which just didn't have the same appeal for me. So I realized, okay, it's time to go back to the tech world. And I had this opportunity because the team at Microsoft actually, 
you know, reached out. They remembered me from my agency days and they said, we have this role. We're not exactly sure what it is. We have a small and growing team and they need someone to do marketing. Do you want to join? And I obviously jumped on the opportunity because I knew the team and I knew what they were doing. And I was really excited to help build something, you know, from the ground up. So I joined this incredible team who worked with startups. That was our target audience. And we ran a startup program to help companies, you know, grow more successfully while using Microsoft tools, obviously. Hmm. But I got to travel a lot and I got to learn, you know, about innovation around the world. And I also spent a lot of time on building a brand, doing positioning and messaging, which is essentially what kind of took me into the product marketing direction because that's a lot of the work you need to do to really understand who your target audience is, to understand your own product and to understand the market and be able to tell a story that ties everything together really well and gets people excited. And that's what I did for, for a couple of years and working so closely with startups, you know, I guess you can say I caught the bug. I, I just decided, okay, I mean, I did the big company. Maybe it's time to go back to the startup world and, and again, help build something from the ground up, but something that I could really own. And I joined um, a fintech startup named Kolu. I was the first marketing hire, so I had to build the marketing, you know, from the ground up, just from really understanding the value proposition and the customers again, and how to position ourselves in a very competitive market. But I was also part of the executive team. So I got to learn about the business and how to make decisions, you know, in terms of revenue and, you know, all of the different business decisions you have to make. Again, an, an incredible experience. I got to build my own team and did that for a couple of years and just had this incredible opportunity for my husband and I to move to San Francisco, which made it a little bit difficult to continue doing that role. And that's when I started consulting. I wanted to take, I don't want to call it a step back, but I just wanted to be a little bit more flexible for the first time in my life to not work, you know, 80 hours a week. <laughs> um, <laughs> And I just saw this opportunity uh, to take a little step back and I started working with smaller companies, eventually got an opportunity to consult for Google. Um, and I did that for about um, a year. And that's kind of when I started writing my book and decided, you know, I'm going to spend the next six months just working on the book, making sure that I actually make it happen. <laughs> and that's where we're at right now. Amazing. I've got so many questions. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> I think it's so interesting. You've for different stages of your career, one that you've kind of, you found marketing, your first social media roles, essentially self teaching yourself and just naturally enjoying social media and then taking that leap. And then you've got all these different perspectives of working in this from a really small company. We've got complete ownership to then working in large teams and then forming your own teams. But what in particular was it about social media that when you were working for um, the, the travel agency, what, what about social media was, was appealing, was catching your eye outside of work and kind of made you want to create that sort of role at that company? Yeah. I mean, I don't remember exactly, but I can assume it was just very new and it was very easy for me to see the potential. So there was mm -hmm. a lot of appeal because I've, I, I'm the kind of person, I think I started writing when I was 10, kind of how I express myself. So suddenly having this platform where you can reach more people, it just made sense. It seemed like this is going to grow into something really big and I wanted to be part of it. So did you find in that company, did they welcome that completely? So you said that a lot of your early experience was you had to kind of, you sensed the opportunity of digital, but perhaps there wasn't the infrastructure there at that company yet. So did you ever experience pushback or did you have to really put forward a really strong case for this, for them to kind of allocate budget yeah. or, for the, or for them to change your role? Well, they didn't need to allocate budget because I basically volunteered to do it in addition to my work. So I guess this is why I didn't have a lot of pushback, yeah. but I also had, you know, six years of experience working for them. So I, you know, they, they trusted me. They knew, you know, if, if I give them my word that I'm, you know, going to work on this and help them be more successful, they just trusted me to, to go ahead and do that. My challenge began when I did the work, when I actually showed progress, but it was so early on, like n almost no one else was, you know, 
on social media that they couldn't justify a full-time role. They just couldn't see the potential at the time. So, you know, they were willing to let me continue experiment and play with it, but they weren't willing to give me like a full-time role to actually drive, you know, marketing forward. And I completely understand, but it just meant I had to find a different opportunity. Amazing. Sounds really, really interesting.